either your child lives or they die, but there's a middle ground that that's worse than both of those that nobody talks about, and that's they're alive, but their brain function is gone. They're infants. A mom's cry for help is far from over. Good evening and thank you for joining us. In May, we told you about four young adults who were arrested for selling heroin and fentanyl. In an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview, Valley News Team's Christine Stanwood talks with a mother of one of those arrested who is closely connected to the opioid epidemic. It's funny, though, because I can talk to people around here, and they're dealing with it. Jamie Harris is a nurse who's treated many struggling addicts. It was my job. I'm a nurse, and I was taking care of these patients and then turn around, and... And it was, it was, I was torn two different ways. It was a comment posted by Jamie that caught Valley News Live's attention. I remember starting out with, I am Christian's mom. That was the most difficult sentence. Harris explained that one of the four boys arrested for dealing heroin and fentanyl was her son. And I'm looking at their pictures and I'm like, my God, they're babies. They're just babies. What was it like to see that photo of your son, the mugshot? That made me sick to my stomach. However, it wasn't Christian Harris's first run in with the law. They answered the phone and he said, Mom, uh, I got arrested, and I'm scared. And my first thought was, because I didn't know anything at this time, I thought, now you're scared? How many calls have I had from you from the jail, and never once have I heard you say you're scared? It's about time. Christian Harris's addiction started when he was 15. He overdosed on alcohol and was placed in a nearly 20-hour induced coma, unexpected to survive. And being... 16, he had overdosed three more times. Um, the schools at school was two times. They first time they called me and said, we just sent your son to the ER, unresponsive. Christian was put on probation, but Jamie says that wasn't enough. I wanted him to, to have to take urine tests every month. You know, I wanted him to have to do some kind of therapy. So she put Christian in a local treatment center but she says their policies were skewed. I said, well, what are the guidelines for him, for him to get admitted? And she said, well, if he was intoxicated right now, under alcohol, under the influence of alcohol. So if I, if I got him drunk and brought him in there, they would take him. But as far as an addiction, asking to get help, they weren't doing it. After kicking him out of her home, Christian later returned. Jamie found him near death, sleeping in a cabinet. He was nothing but bones. I mean, I swear he weighed no more than 60, 70 pounds. Jamie feels as though the system has failed her and Christian and could have prevented his run-ins with the law. Can we not have a policy to have a long-term treatment? And if we don't have a treatment center where the government or state feels it's long enough for them, then make one. If you feel that they need a five-year sentence, then have a five-year rehab facility if these kids make it through a 20-year sentence, they won't come out right. In Fargo, Christine Stanwood, Valley News Live. The 20 years that Jamie Harris references involves an upcoming sentencing for her son on federal drug charges. Christian Harris will be in court in early August. He could get up to 20 years in prison and a $1 million fine.